welcome to level 7, the Dark Castle. But before we do this, I'll check out the previous bosses, boss room to check out the minigame. Definitely easier than the one with Mr. Shine and Mr. Bright, though. Wait, let's take on stage one of Dark Castle. Oh, hold on a moment. Alright, sorry about that. I just had a, an important phone call come up. Anyway, let's get right back to it. We're taking on stage one of the Dark Castle level. Facing each of the mini bosses as a boss at the end of these stages. Okay. Stage one complete. One-ups. Not bad. Oh, now it gives me Cutter, but Cutter's not as useful on the Rick. A jumper shoot. Oh, wait, no, not jumper shoot. Master Green.
can jump pretty far. I guess I just wasn't expecting a Gordo there. I was expecting a regular enemy. He's out of there. Ooh, nice, and we got the one up too. I thought I was going to die. stage completed. Halfway there. Maybe he's invincible when you use it? Maybe it's a little more useful than I thought? Okay, then. 
Well, that's weird. The one ups moved. Oh well. Not like they need it. Now, some of these platforms do break, so be careful. stages. Fun. Pick the wrong path here, you're dead. Looks like I picked right. See, it definitely seems a lot faster now. Ow. Let's go get, uh, electric powers real quick. Back to Dark Castle. That's a lot of spikes. Here is a bit of a secret. Now look on the wall, and you'll see that it's showing certain copy powers. Fire, rock, spikes, ice, and cutter. Fire, rock, spikes, ice, and cutter. That's a pattern that we need to remember. Fire.
spikes. And finally cutter. Ta-da! The final rainbow, they, the rainbow drop is now ours. So yeah, if you don't follow that pattern specifically, then you can't get to the rainbow drop. Ow. Jumper shoot. 